Welcome back in, everyone, to EA Sports coverage of the NFL. As it stands, it's the Patriots in control of the football as we continue on in the third quarter. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Brady deferring to White on the draw. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. They keep it on the ground. White again. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. And shit. Now White lost the football, and the Giants have it. It's picked up. And they're going to hold serve. The defense stops them. And the aggressive play call simply does not work out. You're on your own side of the field here. Punt it, right? Yeah, I would agree with that. There's a time for analytics and a time for being aggressive, but not with this field position. There's also a time for good old football 101 sets. <laughs> yeah. Punt it away. Let your defense take over with better field position. at the line ready to go and they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown that's a no-no we'll see what they do here this go around a big no-no put that in capital letters turning it over the other team takes it down and scores that can be a deflator for a football team now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up well, they're out there we'll see if they can pick those things back up opting to run again here with white Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best block. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Brady gives to Michelle. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Well, there's no shortage of great young runners in the NFL, but don't forget about that guy, Sony Michelle. First round pick in 2018, almost hit 1,000 yards as a rookie, 931 to be exact, to go along with six scores for the former Georgia Bulldog. First down, here's White. And he'll be dropped at the 23 after a pickup of about four. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Shrugs off another. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. How about that run? Picks up a first down. Note the enthusiasm in my boys. Remember, last week, AFC Offensive Player of the Week. I think he's trying to get another one in the fold. And you talked, watching film, a lot about his form and just hitting the hole, running north and south, as we like to say. And I, I think he's been doing that a lot recently. Squaring those shoulders and getting downhill. Trying to pound it in here with Michelle. 
And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And it'll be second and goal. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Michelle going to try again. Able to fight through one tackle. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Now one, and he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. It'll be a gain of five, but they do keep him out of the end zone, and now it's fourth down. Can this defense hold him out? Here we go now, fourth and goal from the two. Back now in Foxborough. It's Patriot football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. Here's Wright, and he is in. Touchdown, New England. James White, his second touchdown of the night. And now they have taken a fourth quarter lead. Oh, this is what I love about calling these games. Fourth and goal. This is all about leverage. Who wants it more? And who's going to get it done at the point of attack, the line of scrimmage? Goskowski, the extra point. And that gives him a three-point lead. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Goskowski now, after the touchdown, he'll send this one away. This will be fielded at the 6. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last time. I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. They hit that crossing route really well. Excellent timing. Puts it right on him, and he keeps running. Yeah, turned it upfield for good yardage. Here's Manning the throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Cody Latimer, the intended receiver. And it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw again. Manning. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. What a catch and one-handed, and I'm starting to lose my awe about the play, and maybe I shouldn't. How much of this is the player? How much of it is the glove? And those gloves, they do have a little grip to them, they? Don't they? have a little extra tackiness to them now, and I know the guys in the NFL, the competition committee, some other places, they're talking about examining those gloves to see if they're having too much of an effect on the game. Well, this secondary has done such a good job of frustrating these receivers tonight. Another example right there on the deep ball. Sometimes when the sun goes down and it's just the bright lights in the stadium, there's a little extra spring in their step, doesn't it? And that's what we're seeing from the defenders. Doesn't matter with his man or zone. Deep ball, short ball, and that was a deep one there. They're making plays on the football, contesting everything. So here are the Patriots to take over. Remember, they're riding that five-game winning streak, and right now in the driver's seat in this ball game as well. Both teams working on short rest, but this has been one of the better Thursday night games we've seen as they come up here on first and ten. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Hey, 
so many different weapons available in that Patriot backfield. Here's first and ten. And he'll give it here to his running back. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now it looks like we've got a Patriot down, slow to get up. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Okay, just like that, just like that. They'll run out of the gun with Michelle. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. But they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. Keeping it on the ground on first. Michelle refusing to go down. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Yards. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. 14 yards is the pickup there in a New England first down. I know we're in the era of wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space, but there's still a spot for power football. We just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle, and you know, late in this game, he wants the football in his hands. He's had a good day. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. They'll run on first down. White still going. And a solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves them with a second and three. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. They'll run with White. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Brady gives this to White. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Defense. Wow, a personal foul at this stage in the fourth. Hard to believe. Really hard to believe. And now that glow of hope that you had begins to flicker out, doesn't it? Yep. Here's White. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Back at the five-yard line now. Second and goal. On second down, they'll run with White. And he keeps fighting his way into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. James White, his third touchdown of the game, number 16 on the season. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. They get one more as the extra point's up and good, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. 
A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. So Manning and the Giants down 20 to 10. A minute 40 remaining. Their offense has struggled all night, and now they need to find two scores late to try to pull this thing out. Throwing is Manning. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Second and 10 now from the 27. Manning to Barkley on the draw play. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that'll be incomplete. Well, they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty. And it's fourth down. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. To throw is Manning. And Ingram holds it in. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. One crisis averted, but they still need to move hastily. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. Now Manning got to hurry him to the line here. Now Manning. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. To throw is Manning. He's going to let it fly. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. They're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Manning to throw for it on four. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Patriots' defense is going to take over on down. Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10 at the 45. Oh, what a catch by Edelman. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Charles, in this one, I think the storyline really, the fourth quarter coming into it neck and neck, but they were able to separate, put their foot on the gas, and get the win. And since you mentioned neck and neck, I'm going to stay with a little bit of a horse racing theme. It was that close, and then really went into the gallop and finished it strong. One more horse racing theme. Go. I, just, I am glad you posted today. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. So for New England, they remain as hot as anyone. 6-0 and now through the first month and a half. And they'll get a few extra days to get ready for next week where they take on the New York Jets. Meanwhile, for the Giants... The loss here will move them back to 500 at 3-3. Three and three. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire...
scouting points are earned every week. Use all of your points because a portion of the remain points will be lost when you advance the week.